Ranking every DCU movie from worst to best involves navigating through a complex cinematic journey. While Man of Steel achieved triumph amidst divisiveness, subsequent releases carried their own caveats. Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom faced unique challenges as James Wan's final DCEU venture amid impending reboots. Controversies, missed opportunities and notable exits punctuate the franchise's 10-year evolution. Each film is critically evaluated, scrutinizing strengths and weaknesses to justify its place, including the 2023 edition, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. But before ranking every DCEU movie from worst to best, don't forget to subscribe this channel for more upcoming videos like this. With that being said, the DCEU movie, which ranked 16th is Justice League. Justice League, originally envisioned as the triumphant culmination of the DCEU, faced a tumultuous journey. Director Zack Snyder's departure led to Joss Whedon's takeover, resulting in a disjointed film that failed to complete established plotlines. Notorious for Henry Cavill's CGI mustache removal, the movie deviated from the social parables of its predecessors. Years later, the main conversation revolves around the comparison with the Snyder Cut, with the original Justice League ranking at the bottom of the list. And the 15th ranked movie is Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad underwent significant post-production alterations due to Warner Bros concerns about tone, mismatching the marketing campaign and influenced by Batman versus Superman's box office performance. The final cut, a blend of the director's vision and a trailer house version, felt unfinished. The introductory sequence, filled with fun graphics, stands out. But the film's overall editing is choppy. Despite its disjointed nature, Suicide Squad boasts inspired casting, with Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn and Viola Davis's Amanda Waller shining. Warner Bros. subsequently spotlighted Harley Quinn in Birds of Prey, indicating her significance in future plans. And the 14th ranked DCEU movie is Batman vs Superman – Dawn of Justice. Batman vs Superman – Dawn of Justice, the second film in Zack Snyder's DC trilogy, marked a turning point for the DCEU, drawing both criticism and cult status. Critics gave it a mere 28% on Rotten Tomatoes, while audiences rated it at 63%. Despite acknowledged problems, the film's strength lies in Snyder's deep imagery and symbolism, portraying Superman as a complex Christ figure against a contemporary backdrop. The promised hero battle disappoints, abruptly resolving with the infamous Martha moment, leading to a pivot into a different movie that controversially kills Superman. The introduction of Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman stands out, accompanied by an iconic score from Hans Zimmer. And the 13th ranked movie is Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Shazam! Fury of the Gods falls short compared to its wholesome predecessor. Despite a lackluster marketing campaign, the sequel struggles to maintain the charm of Zachary Levy's Shazam! with meta-jokes overshadowing the character's shine. The plot's thin spread over numerous characters, uninteresting villains and distracting ties to the wider DCEU contribute to its near-disaster status. The wisecracking becomes tiresome quickly, dated pop references linger, and the sequel is perhaps remembered more for marketing attention than its own merits. And here comes our 12th ranked DCEU movie, Wonder Woman 1984. Wonder Woman 1984 faced high expectations but disappointed, especially due to a muddled plot and questionable creative decisions, like an uncomfortable body swapping element. Gal Gadot and Chris Pine shine their chemistry, nearly justifying the return of Steve Trevor. Pedro Pascal excels as Maxwell Lord, but his performance, resembling Donald Trump, may date the film significantly. The release during the pandemic added to the challenges. And the DCU movie, which gained 11th position, is Black Adam. Black Adam, despite a heavily Superman-leaning marketing campaign by Dwayne The Rock Johnson, falls short of being a groundbreaking DCU revolution. The Justice Society introduction and spot-on casting are high points, but the film lacks the promised earth-shaking impact. While exploring darkness without going as brazenly evil as Suicide Squad, 
it still suffers from a wayward plot and an underwhelming villain. Johnson delivers as Black Adam, with a confident swagger promising more. But the movie won't be remembered at the very top tier of the DCEU. And the 10th ranked DCU movie is Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom. Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom faced an underwhelming marketing campaign, but despite initial tepid reviews and box office performance, the sequel hits familiar high notes. Jason Momoa's Xania portrayal of the King of Atlantis brings more Deuterbro energy, coupled with impressive imaginative spectacle. Patrick Wilson's Orm stands out as a deliciously grumpy character, balancing Aquaman's dialed-up performance. The sequel introduces horror elements with the Black Trident and Manta's possession, expanding the world but lacking some of the wonder of the original. While it won't linger long in memory, it's far from the disaster some critics suggest. And the ninth-ranked movie is The Flash. Despite CGI complaints and nostalgia-baiting cameos, Andy Muschietti's Flashpoint adaptation, The Flash, impresses with a brave vision and compelling story. Hindered by behind-the-scenes turmoil, delays, and the DCU reboot, the film still manages to be a creative free hit for Warner Brothers' Michael Keaton's significant role adds more than mere nostalgia, while Sasha Kale's Supergirl brings a bold new direction. Ezra Miller's off-camera controversies cast a shadow, but The Flash is fun, spectacular, and justifies its existence on its own merits. The CGI concerns become bearable when considering the film's overall impact. And the DCU movie, which ranked 8th, is Zack Snyder's Justice League. The Snyder Cut of Justice League, although not officially part of the DCU, deserves a place on this list. Infinitely better than the theatrical release, it does highlight the benefits of studio editing, especially in the meandering first third. Ray Fisher's Cyborg shines with a compelling character arc, making him the standout in the Justice League. The final battle against Steppenwolf is well executed in Snyder's mythic style, and overall, it stands as one of Zack Snyder's best superhero movies. Warner Bros. made a mistake not editing it for the big screen initially. And the seventh-ranked DCEU movie is Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey, directed by Kathy Yan, is essentially a Harley Quinn movie with a madcap journey through Gotham City. The film focuses on Harley breaking free from the Joker's shadow while saving a teenage pickpocket. While not deep, the narrative style, representing Harley as an unreliable narrator, adds a fun and eclectic touch, despite occasional stumbles. The Birds of Prey characters often fall into popular tropes, acknowledged by Harley herself. The R rating might feel unnecessary, impacting the film's box office performance. And the sixth ranked movie is Shazam. David F. Sandberg's Shazam stands out for its sheer, unadulterated fun. Starring Asher Angel and Zachary Levi, the film is a wild and irreverent ride with perfectly landing humour. Shazam effortlessly blends light and dark tones, emphasising the emotional core of the relationship between Billy and his foster brother Freddy. The third act sets it apart from other superhero films, delivering a satisfying conclusion that weaves themes seamlessly. While some secondary characters lack ample screen time, it's a forgivable challenge given Billy's extensive foster sibling lineup. And the fifth ranked DCEU movie is Blue Beetle. Angel Manuel Soto's Blue Beetle faced challenges before its release, transitioning from HBO Max to theatres amidst marketing strikes and The Flash's box office struggles. Despite this, Blue Beetle triumphs with positive representation, working seamlessly as a DCEU and DCU movie. It delivers a family-driven narrative with superhero dynamics, requiring minimal background knowledge. The film balances humour, touching moments and a strong message, although effects occasionally falter. Setting up a sequel, Blue Beetle hints at Jamie Reyes's future in the rebooted DCU, promising a bright future, especially if box office returns impress. And the DCU movie, which ranked fourth, is Aquaman. Starring Jason Momoa, Aquaman stands out as one of DC's strongest films. While not perfect, with CGI issues and a somewhat weak treasure hunt plot, director James Wan excels in lavish world building within DC's Atlantis.
Momoa's casting is perfect, showcasing tremendous chemistry with co-star Amber Heard. Wan's horror background is evident in his use of Cthulhu Mythos and the monstrous trench attack. The film turns Aquaman's ability to communicate with fish into a powerful asset, defying mockery. Overall, it's a very effective movie. And the third DCU movie is Wonder Woman. Undeniably the most influential film in the DCU, Wonder Woman shattered the glass ceiling for female superheroes. Patty Jenkins' lovingly crafted movie, starring Gal Gadot, proved that a female-led superhero flick could be a massive success, grossing over $800 million worldwide. The film portrayed Wonder Woman as a complex, layered character on a mission to end all war. The standout scene in No Man's Land symbolised the movie's essence, showcasing a character moment rather than a typical brawl. Despite some weak points, including an overlong CGI battle, Wonder Woman remains one of the best and most important superhero movies in recent years. And the second ranked DCU movie is Man of Steel. Zack Snyder's Man of Steel reimagines Superman as a 21st century superhero, exploring Kal-El's origin story with a focus on Krypton. Henry Cavill's grim portrayal contrasts with Christopher Reeves, but aligns with the nascent DCEU's aesthetic. Controversy arose over the CGI-heavy final battle and the extensive destruction caused by Superman and Zod. While exciting as a standalone film, Man of Steel became the foundation for the entire DCEU, shaping Snyder's unique take on Superman as the mainstream interpretation. And the best DCEU movie is the Suicide Squad. James Gunn's The Suicide Squad stands out in the DC universe, diverging from the typical hero-focused narratives to embrace the underdog anti-heroes. Gunn's talent for making audiences care about lesser-known characters shines, evident in heartfelt moments and a diverse cast. Pacing issues, particularly in the shock comedy opening, are noted, but the film's boldness and fun distinguish it from its predecessor. Not suitable for kids, the movie wades into gore, aligning with its trauma-inspired approach. So, which is your favourite DCU movie? Tell us in the comments section. And for more upcoming videos like this, don't forget to subscribe this channel.